Okay, Callum, obviously you're a player within the Futsal Scholarship. What did you learn during that experience that has taken you into the, the coaching aspect of the role? Yeah, I learned an awful lot about Futsal. Going into the scholarship, I didn't really know much about it. Um, but after being up, after the two years, certainly learned a lot about the formations and also about the whole programme itself, how things could be improved and especially my next step on onto the course. I think I'd be able to add a lot to the program. Yeah, I mean, when you're a, a player, obviously you have to learn and adapt to to tactics in terms of the game situations. But speaking to to Michael, he sort of said that you could see coaching traits in you. Did you believe that to be the case when you started the course? Yeah, really. From a young age, I've always wanted to be a coach, so I think I always had that in my mind. But definitely from from Michael being able to be in play and being told what to do, I think I automatically just took it on board. What's it like working with these players who come into the scholarship programme in their first year? They're obviously very new to it. How, how can you implement your knowledge to them to, to allow them to go out and express themselves? Uh, I think it's beneficial to me, really. When I first started, I didn't know much about it, and that's they're in the same situation I was, um, especially when they come on. They now didn't know anything about it, and now they're learning more, more and more each day about foot zone, the different formations, the sole of the foot, just the simple basic foot cells. And looking towards the end of the course, they're, we've reached the nationals and the progress is unbelievable. Yeah, have you been surprised by how quickly futsal is sort of taken off in this country? Because when you first joined, obviously, it was in its infancy in this country. Um, but it seems to be making really good strides very, very quickly. Yes, certainly. It's grown, grown massively. There's, like I said, when I was first started, futsal wasn't really much, much known to a lot of people. But now we've been going to England friendlies and futsal. We've been to Sweden friendly, the Finland friendly. Um, good attendance is there. So I think futsal is definitely growing in the country. And as a coach I, I, as, of the programme, I guess you're as proud as Michael are that the, the team have reached the nationals because you have to go through a few obstacles to get there. Yeah, it's great. It's been a great achievement to get there. A very, very hard season um, looking to win the title. And we've had a few setbacks due to injuries, etc. But it's been great to finally reach the nationals and we look forward to it going into next week. Yeah, and just finally, after the um, nationals and the presentation, I believe you're coming out of retirement, are you, to play in, in like an all-star futsal game, is that right? Uh, yes, there is a um, new v assistant scholars um, friendly going to be taking place. I'm not sure about coming out of retirement. I don't think I have the legs for that anymore. <laughs> um, but it might be something I may play a part of.